Hey everybody, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee. Today I am going to show you why you should be using primary text frames and what to do if you have not put your text into primary frames but you still want to utilize primary text frames. I'm showing you how to take your content and move it into those primary text frames. Now take note, this will not necessarily work if you are trying to um, move pictures, images, graphics around. This is mainly for if you have a document that is purely text um, and you are simply trying to move all of that text in regular text boxes into primary text boxes. So to get started, let me show you what I can do with my primary text frames. You will note on the corner of this text frame is a little symbol that looks like this. It's a piece of paper with an arrow on it. This indicates that this is a primary text frame. Watch what I can do with this primary text frame. With my parent pages selected, I have a single column and a two column layout created in my primary or parent pages. I have a couple of other videos about um, making parent pages, which I will link here. I'm not going to talk about that right now. I'm simply going to apply that two column layout to this first page. Voila! All of my text now magically flows into the two columns. This only works if you are utilizing primary text frames. You cannot do this if you have regular text frames flowing through your document. You're thinking, well, now I'm screwed. How can I do this? Don't worry, let me show you. All I'm going to do is simply cut my content out of my primary text frames, and I'm going to put it in this regular text frame. This is what your text will look like if it is not in a primary frame. Note that this text box does not have the primary frame marker right here like it would if it were a primary. What are we gonna do? How do we get this to go into the primary frames? It's simple. You need overset text indicated by the little red cross, and then you are going to right click on the red cross and then click into a primary frame. Boom. Now you can see that the primary frame has retained its qualities, but that text is simply flowing into it. Now I'm going to delete this frame and all of that text is now contained within my primary frames. Something you may notice, however, is that if you have multiple frames, or more, multiple parent pages, I should say, sometimes you will notice that your text will not flow in the primaries from the first one to the second one. Uh, what I mean is you might be experiencing parent frames or primary frames on the B parent page, but when it reaches A, it might flow into a standard. Let's check on this document and see. Looks like we're all good here. Let me uh, create this predicament. Let's say that this text is now overset. I am going to load the additional content onto my cursor, and I'm going to shift click into this area now. You see how we are now switching from uh, a primary frame into a regular, or another primary frame, and this one is now a regular frame, so I can no longer use my two column layout on this page. It doesn't apply to the text because it's no longer in a primary frame. How do we fix this problem? Well, if you would like your text to automatically flow into primary frames, you need to enable Smart Text Reflow. This will uh, allow InDesign to add additional pages, utilizing the parent pages, whenever it encounters overset text. How do we turn this on? We're going to go to Edit, Preferences, and Type. 
on this page, you are going to look at the bottom and you want to enable Smart Text Reflow. Smart Text Reflow can either add additional pages when it finds overset text. It can add it at the end of the story, meaning exactly at the end, or it can add more at the end of the document. I like to do end of the story. Most of my documents are all one story long, but if you end up having a document with multiple stories in it, you typically want your text to follow directly at the end of the story and not at the end of the document, which would put a big separation in your content. Uh, we are also going to limit these to the primary text frames. If you want, you can also allow InDesign to delete empty pages that don't contain any content. We're going to click OK. Now watch what happens if I delete this page. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these pages, actually. I'm going to shift click on these. Don't worry, when you hit delete, your content will simply become overset. InDesign will recognize it as overset and then start to flow these into primary text frames. Your content won't be deleted. When I click delete on the pages, it will appear as if nothing is happening for a moment. And then, voila, magic new pages have reflowed all of that content into new primary frames. Very good. If you all have any questions or comments, leave them below. If this is your first video, your fifth, your tenth video, go ahead, like, and subscribe, everybody. Look at this graph. Look at how many of you are not subscribed. If you've been watching our videos for a while, go ahead and subscribe. It really helps our analytics, helps us to earn a little bit of revenue on YouTube. We offer these videos to you for free. So help us out by just offering a free subscribe. Thank you very much, everybody. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.